My name is Mike Zioli. I'm a drummer and percussionist uh, coming from Austin, Texas. And I'm here to do an interview with Martina Uckerman from the Colner News Journal. And uh, it's been really great to reconnect with you again, Martina. Thanks for uh, having me here today. And I'm excited to uh, share some stories about what I do. So uh, I got all your questions and uh, I'm ready to give you some answers. So let's get started. So when did I start playing drums? Well, as far back as I can remember, as a very young child, uh, I would hang out in the kitchen with my mom while she was doing chores and playing the radio loudly. And I would be right next to her, uh, just banging away on the pots and pans, whatever I could get my hands on really uh, in the kitchen was my first drums, right? <laughs> and, uh, but eventually when I was about 10 or 11, I got my first true drum set and uh, it was Ludwig drums and Zildjian cymbals and that was a very big deal. So, and at that point is when I enrolled uh, for proper training as a percussionist in school band. And I did all of that through high school and even into my college studies as well. So, and then from that point on, uh, the rest is history. Well, when I was about five years old, I saw my very first concert, Kiss with uh, Cheap Trick. And uh, that was a big thrill for me, as you can imagine. Actually, still to this day, seeing live music is a big thrill. I just love live music, indeed. And, um, but yes, after seeing that concert, uh, playing the drums was a dream job for me, no doubt about it. Uh, but also, my father, he was an aviator, and so I grew up around aviation and aircraft. Uh, and I was even in flight school uh, for a short period of time and wanted to follow in his footsteps at one point. But making music and playing drums uh, was always a big passion of mine, and eventually that led me to Austin, Texas, where I am still today. Yes, uh, my studies during my college years were quite wide and varied. I began uh, as a music education major uh, and was considering becoming a band director. But after a couple years of that study, uh, my interests completely changed. And I began focusing on anthropology and archaeology and even studying the Spanish language. I was attending, at one point, I was attending La Universidad Autónoma de Querétaro in Mexico and was uh, strongly considering becoming a professor in academia. And I had played in many bands during this period and prior to that as well. And it was all great learning experience for me, but those bands uh, just didn't have the staying success that I was hoping for. And then right at that time, the Del Castillo band uh, began. And uh, we started with quite a bang and we had some luck and some success early on. And as far as I was concerned, that was my dream job at that point. That was my calling. So I changed my interests once again and uh, happy to say that we are still rocking to this day. I've been very fortunate to play with some other music projects along with Del Castillo. Uh, one namely that comes to mind is with Robert Rodriguez, the filmmaker. He's got a project called Chingon and we play uh, the soundtracks to his films like uh, Sin City, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, uh, Machete and other films like that that are pretty well known. Uh, it's a great time when we play because he has a huge movie screen behind the band playing clips from the films while we jam out live. It's super cool. Um, and then uh, I, during the Del Castillo tours uh, through Germany, I met the guys from Trails, a band called Trails. They're uh, from Munich. And uh, we hit it off right away. We had lots of uh, similar interests musically and uh, they found their way to Texas to record their album with Rick Del Castillo and they called me 
to come play drums on their album, uh, Desert Lullabies. And that was a really great time too. So those were some really fun tracks to work on. A really creative group that I enjoyed. Uh, and then another project that I played with for a couple years here in Austin, uh, a really loud, fast, kind of aggressive music uh, was the Dharma Kings. And uh, you can find uh, the music online. Uh, the album that I got to uh, perform on was T minus zero. It was produced uh, with John Moyer, the bass player from Disturbed. He uh, lives here in Austin as well. And uh, he's just a powerhouse. And it was a blast uh, working with him. I learned so much on that recording album. Uh, and now I'm currently working with uh, another independent project uh, called Spicy Loops. And I've recently shared that music with Martina. And I think she's trying to connect uh, with with the band leader, Nathan, as well. Um, and, and you can find the music online also. Uh, but it's really a lot of fun for me to play all these different types of music. You know, it challenges me. It keeps me always learning and improving my skills and just keeps me inspired musically. So I'm really grateful to get to do all of those projects. Right, yes, my other passion with music is for teaching. And uh, I'm here at my drum studio right now. And um, I started my uh, teaching name as Better Beats. And I do have a YouTube channel called Better Beats Music. You can look up if you're interested at all. Uh, but I've been teaching for about 25 years now and uh, currently have about 25 students enrolled, about. So it does keep me very busy. I'm grateful that I get to share what I love doing during the week uh, with my students. And then on the weekends, I get to perform live uh, for fans as well. Um, so it's music, 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 as much as I can possibly get. Well, one wish uh, that I would like to see come true one day is to record my own original project. Uh, and invite my friends and musicians on to play with me. Um, so we'll see, maybe one day I can uh, make that project come to life. But right now I'm just currently very busy teaching uh, and playing live, you know, with uh, the projects that I was talking about. So I'm very grateful to just play so much music. I just love it. And, uh, but maybe one day, you know, I'll get to share some original Mike Zioli music. You never know what the future holds, right? But um, so anyway, uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed this interview. I really enjoyed talking about what I love doing. And again, Martina, thank you so much uh, for always, you know, promoting, uh, helping promote, you know, the artists and the music that we make. Uh, you're awesome. So thank you so much. And everyone out there, take care. And uh, we hope to see you down the road one day at a live show.